Hello Junior 2, I hope you are doing well. So today we have a writing session and we are going to talk and write about something that you love so much. Okay, I want you to get your Oxford writing books and open page 36. Here we have a title, write a story about your favorite toy. Oh, that means we are going to talk about toys. Okay, I'm sure if I ask you, do you have toys? So you're gonna say, yes, we have many toys. And as we know that there are many kind of toys, like trains, cars, planes, puppets, robots, dolls, and so many things. Okay. But what if I ask you, what's your favorite toy? What's the meaning of favorite toy here? Okay, for an example, if you have a plane, a car, and a robot, and you like to spend your time playing with the robot, or you like the robot too much more, so it means that your favorite toy is the robot. Okay, here we have a story. Look at your books. What can you see here? There are two pictures. They are different. The first picture is so clean and tidy. And the second picture is so messy. In the first picture, the toys are on the shelf. And in the second picture, the toys are on the floor and on the bed. Okay. What kind of toys do we have here? We have a plane, a car, a puppet, a robot, and a train. Okay, let's read the story. A. Look at the pictures. What happens in the story? Now read. Ricky the robot. It's Monday morning. Ricky the robot wants to play. But Ferdy goes to school. The toys are alone. Ricky becomes alive. He rides on the train. He flies in the plane. He drives the cars. He dances with the puppet. Ferdy comes home. The toys are on the floor. Ferdy is surprised. What's going on? Ferdy asks. But Ricky doesn't speak. Okay, so here the title is... Ricky the robot. So that means the robot's name is Ricky. And here we have a boy and his name is Ferdy. Okay. When did that story happen? It happened on Monday morning. Okay. So here Ferdy goes to school and the toys are alone. Ricky wants to play. So, the story is saying that Ricky becomes alive. How comes that Ricky becomes alive? What's the meaning of alive here? Okay, alive it means having life, still active. Okay, can I say people are still alive? Yes. Can I say the cat is still alive? Yes. Can I say the bag is still alive? No. Can I say the pen is still alive? No. So how comes that Ricky the robot becomes alive? What do you think about that story? Is it real? Of course, it's not. Because toys can't be alive. Okay. Look at your books. B. Look at the story in A. Number the sentences in the correct order. Ricky plays with the toys. Ferdy goes to school. Ferdy comes home. Number one is Ferdy goes to school. Okay, which one is number two? Ricky plays with the toys or Ferdy comes home. Number two is Ricky plays with the toys. And then number three is Ferdy comes home. C. Think 
about Ricky the robot, can toys really become alive? Oh, as we said, toys can't become alive because they are only toys. Turn to page 37. Think. Question D. Think about your toys. Make a list. Okay, so here you are going to make a list for your toys. So for me, I'm going to write a doll, a plane, a car, a puppet, and a teddy. Plan. Question E. Choose your favorite toy from your list in D. Complete the notes. 1. My favorite toy is a... Teddy. So here you are going to write your favorite toy. 2. His or her name is... Sasha. So here you are going to write the name of your favorite toy. 3. When I'm not at home, I think my toy stays at the same place, or sleeps, or plays. So here, if you want to choose an answer from here, it's okay. And if you want to write another answer, it's okay. 4. He or she feels alone, or happy, or sad. So the same here. If you want to choose an answer from here, it's okay. And if you want to write another answer, it's okay. Now open page 38. G. Now write a story about your favorite toy. Use your work in E and F to help you. Draw or glue a picture. Okay, listen. Now we want to write a story about your favorite toy. So let's remember when we write a story, we write a beginning, a middle, and an ending. In the beginning, we can write, number one, who the characters are and how they feel. For an example, if you have a toy, it's a doll and its name is um, Minnie, so you are going to say Minnie the doll. Number two, when the story takes place, and that means the time of the story. Like it's Monday morning, it's 12 at night, it's five in the evening, or whatever you want to say. In the middle, we write the events of the story in the correct order, and that means you are going to write what happens in the story in the correct order. And in the ending, we can write what happens in the end and how the characters feel. Okay. We have some rules if we want to write a story or a paragraph. Rule number one, to leave a space in the first line by putting our fingers on or write some excess. Rule number two, the first letter of any sentence is capital. Rule number three, to leave space between the words. And rule number four, to put the full stop at the end of the sentence. Okay, look at your books. Here I wrote a story about my favorite toy, so let's read it. Sasha the Teddy. Okay, here we can see the title. It's Sasha the Teddy. Don't forget when we write a title, we write the first letter of each word, capital letter. Like here, Sasha, the S is capital, the, the T is capital, Teddy, the T here is capital. It's Thursday morning. Full stop. Here, I wrote the time of the story. It's Thursday morning. Don't forget when you write a day, you write the first letter, capital letter. Like here, Thursday, the T is 
capital. Sasha the teddy wants to play. Okay, here I wrote the name of the teddy. It's Sasha. So we write here the S capital because it's another sentence and we should write all of the names the first letter capital letter like here Sasha the S is capital how does Sasha feel here Sasha the teddy wants to play full stop but I have school full stop Okay, here when we started another sentence, we started it with a capital letter. Like here in but, the B is capital. And we ended the sentence by putting the full stop. But I have school. Full stop. The toys are alone. Full stop. Here, how do the toys feel? The toys are alone. Sasha becomes alive. Okay, here let's move to the events of the story or what happens in the story. She plays with the cars and the planes. She sings with the robot. She dances with the dolls. She plays with the cars and the planes. So here we started the, the 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 sentence with the capital letter she here the s is capital and i ended the sentence by putting the full stop she sings with the robot full stop she here the s is capital and i ended the sentence by putting the full stop she dances with the dolls here she the s is capital and I ended the sentence by putting the full stop. Let's move to the end of the story. Mom comes home. Full stop. The toys are on the floor. Full stop. Mom is surprised. Full stop. Okay. Here, I said, how does mom feel? Mom is surprised. What's going on? Mom asks. Full stop. But Sasha doesn't speak. Full stop. Here, but I started it with a capital letter because it's another sentence and I ended it with the full stop. And here, Sasha, it's in the middle of the sentence, but here the S is capital because it's a name. As we said, we should write the first letter of any name with a capital letter. Okay, let's read the story again. Sasha the Teddy It's Thursday morning. Sasha the Teddy wants to play, but I have school. The toys are alone. Sasha becomes alive. She plays with the cars and the planes. She sings with the rabbit. She dances with the dolls. Mom comes home. The toys are on the floor. Mom is surprised. What's going on? Mom asks, but Sasha doesn't speak.